In the arcane corridors of the 19th century intellect, Friedrich Nietzsche whispered to us about the herd mentality, a beguiling spell cast by society that ensnares our souls in webs of dread. Like a dark alchemist, this collective consciousness transmutes our individual essence into shackles of expectation, sealing us in a prison forged by the very fears we dare not confront. Do you recall the saga of Rosa Parks, the mystic warrior of civil disobedience? In her refusal to yield, a simple whisper of no that echoed through the realms of time, she shattered the illusionary chains of conformity. Her resistance was like a divine alchemy, transforming the collective sorrow of an entire community into a spirit of untamed freedom. Can you fathom the churning sea of fear that must have engulfed Rosa Parks' soul in that ethereal moment? A maelstrom of societal judgment, an abyss of potential repercussions. Yet, she emerged from this storm reborn, an ethereal phoenix rising from its own ashes. And if she, an earthly being, can transmute fear into liberation, why, I ask you, can we not do the same? You see, the esoteric wisdom of spirituality whispers to us that fear is but a mirage, a shadow dance of the mind. Nietzsche, the philosopher, challenges us to march into this mirage, to dispel its illusions by the light of our truest selves. A more fatty, a cosmic spell whispered through the annals of time, emanating from the very lips of Nietzsche himself. Can you feel its vibrations in your soul? Its essence lies in a simple yet transcendental proclamation, love your fate. Now, imagine your life as a grand tapestry woven by the fates, intricate threads of joy and sorrow, pleasure and pain, knotted into existence. Each twist and turn, each shadow and light, shapes the pattern of your being. You might look upon certain threads and deem them unworthy of your tapestry, you may even wish to unravel them. But to do so would be to unravel yourself. A more fatty is the mystic key that allows you to see the enchanting wholeness of your life. It begs you to embrace the shadows with the same fervor as the light, to love the thorns that come with the roses. It is a hymn sung in harmony with the universe, a sacred acceptance of all that is, was, and will be. So the next time you find yourself drowning in the depths of fear or sorrow, chant silently within your soul, a more fatty. Feel how the weight of the world begins to lift, as if carried away by divine winds, and see how your fears transform into glittering stardust, a necessary element in the alchemy of your existence. Ah, yes. In loving your fate, you become a willing dancer in the great cosmic ballet, and fear? It becomes but a stepping stone in the majestic river of your life, a river that flows unerringly towards the ocean of your ultimate destiny. Thus, we find ourselves sailing on the sacred currents of Amor Fati, embracing the totality of existence, understanding that the light and the darkness are but two sides of the same celestial coin. And in that profound acceptance, fear dissipates like mist in the dawn of enlightenment. Neuroscience reveals that mindfulness and meditation can rewire the brain, making us more capable of overcoming fears. The concept of Amor Fati can be a form of mindful acceptance, a spiritual surrender to the universe's flow. Consider your fears as challenges set by the universe to aid your spiritual evolution. They are your crucibles of transformation, turning the lead of your existence into gold. Don't shy away from them, rather, face them head on. As we drift in this cosmic sea of existence, between realms of fear and courage, let's become celestial navigators guided by the wisdom of ages past. Now, as the veils between the known and the unknown thin, allow me to share some timeless secrets from the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche to light your path through the labyrinth of fear. 1. Embrace your individuality. The first gem from Nietzsche's vault, individuality is your divine birthright. Do you hear the call of your own being? Conformity shackles your soul, it is the herd mentality that fuels fear. When you assert your unique essence and refuse to be a mere echo in the caverns of existence, fear finds no room to settle within you. 2. Challenge the herd mentality. In a world often tainted by the blind obedience of the masses, Nietzsche beckons you to break free. Dare to question, dare to differ, dare to dance to the tune of your own cosmic drum. Just as Rosa Parks shattered the illusion of conformity, you too hold the power to dispel collective fears through your individual acts of courage. 3. Know thyself. Who are you? Nietzsche whispers in the ears of your soul. To face fear, you must first face yourself. 
Dive into the abyss of your own psyche. Examine your values, beliefs, and ambitions. The moment you know what you stand for is the moment fear loses its grip on you. 4. Exercise your will to power. For Nietzsche, the will to power is the driving force of human nature. Use this will to take control of your life, to shape your destiny. In the transformation of fear into a stepping stone, behold the power you wield to sculpt your reality. 5. Love your fate. Finally, a more fatty. This is not a resignation but a wholehearted embrace of life in its entirety. When you love your fate, you transmute every drop of fear into a stepping stone towards enlightenment. Every obstacle becomes an opportunity for alchemy, transfiguring base emotions like fear into golden nuggets of wisdom and growth. So, my celestial voyager, let these pearls of Nietzschean wisdom guide you. Illuminate the dark crevices of your fears with the radiant light of understanding, and join the cosmic dance with an awakened spirit, free and unbounded. Ah, dear explorers of the soul, as we approach the shores of understanding, let us take a moment to breathe in the wisdom we've gathered on this cosmic journey. Friedrich Nietzsche once said, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. The why, dear friends, is to live fearlessly, to be the most authentic version of yourself, to embrace a more fatty, the love of one's fate, in all its shades and hues. In each challenge you face, remember that you're the alchemist of your own destiny, transmuting fear into opportunities for growth, setbacks into stepping stones, and uncertainty into the spice of life that makes each moment a mystery worth unraveling.